Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to the Same Brain Podcast. If you're listening, you can't tell we're in the back of a Rivian R1S in Yosemite. Oh yeah, we're in the trunk, baby. It's also very bright, but roll that intro and give me sunglasses. Okay, when we started the sun, we were like, we got to get like a nice sunset, but we didn't want to have it be backlit. And now we're sitting in the trunk with the sun like blaring into our faces. And then we took the ND filters off and then we put them back on and then we took them off and put them back on. And there's just- You got a bug, give a bug, give a bug. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. There's bugs everywhere. So the sun is setting, there's bugs everywhere. But let's talk about why we're here, what we're doing and talk about it quickly because- we're going to we, lose light. We're going to loot. The light is going. The light is going there away. There goes. It's okay, shifting. It actually, it's quite nice. Okay. So, Justine. What's up? We're sitting in the Rivian doing a podcast. We are. And this is incredible because Jenna actually pre-ordered one of these. Yes. And somehow we have found ourselves in the middle of Yosemite recording a podcast in the new Rivian SUV. Now, they've had the trucks, which were absolutely incredible. And ever since they first announced them, we saw them at CES. We've seen them around. A bunch of our friends have them. And Jenna was like, I want the SUV. She waited yes. and you pre-ordered. I pre-ordered it and this is exciting because we're now sitting inside one. And let me tell you something. Okay, when we're recording this, the only two people who have the R1S is the Rivian CEO and the CFO and then us. I we, know. We have to give ours back. Well, you, we have to give we're, it back. We're giving this back. <laughs> so we've missed, you know, we were invited to some events to test out the truck and we weren't able to make it. Um, so they've been very, very nice. Like we want to, you know, figure out how we can get you guys to to test one out, test something out, you know, because the truck and the SUV are pretty similar. Um, so it just so happened to work out that they were like, hey, we have a free slot. Are you free? And I was like, I will be Absolutely. free. So we're among one of the very, probably, I would say like the top 1,000 people probably to drive the R1S. And we are in Yosemite and the color of this car is, I keep calling it a car. I mean, I guess it's an SUV. It's a vehicle. It's incredible. And the color is called El Cap Granite. And we're in Yosemite. And of course, that's where El Capitan is. So we today was our full, first full day. So we drove to the park. Our parents actually here too. They were out here um, and they were, were like convinced them to stay for a little extra trip and took them to Yosemite. It was their first time. This is my favorite park. But yeah, it was very hard to film in the park because they're doing construction. So trying to find a spot to like park and film with no one around was hard. That's why we're in the basically the parking lot of our hotel, which is the Rush Creek Lodge right outside the park. Very nice. It's incredible. I think we should go back and kind of start from the beginning of our trip and just talk about the charging and all of that. Because one of the things that I've always been so afraid of is having that charging panic of like, how am I going to get somewhere? Where is there going to be chargers? And I think with a lot of electric vehicle owners or people who are looking to get an EV, they range have, anxiety range anxiety yes range anxiety is real so i remember when i had um the chevy bolt ev i did the road trip to big bear which it was like two hours and i was still like panicking and um i was like oh gosh two hours like am i gonna make it like i was fine so this was my first and your first big road trip i mean six plus hours with an electric vehicle and you know the rivian is still so new and they're still working on their infrastructure so i was a little concerned but they gave us like a whole little document and it was actually very easy because in the car when you type in you know los angeles to rush creek lodge yosemite it gives you stops along the way it's like stop here charge for 20 minutes stop here charge for an hour and it gives you the different level one level two level three charging so we didn't really have a problem no and it actually worked out great because there's no way we were going to actually drive six hours straight without having to go to the bathroom or stop and eat so we stopped at one place which was a level two charger correct it was level two i think it was a level three. <laughs> oh god there's bugs everywhere they're everywhere um, they're coming to get me they're in the car we will have to check the tape for the record but either way we were there for about what like an i think hour? it was 150 kilowatt charger okay. correct um we were there for we had we were like brunch. an hour and a half yeah, we yeah. still had a decent amount. So we charged for about an hour, hour and a half, and it put us right back up. So that was great. That was only like two and a half hours in. So we, we, we oh gosh, I forgot to yourself in the head. I had a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Knock myself out. So that was good. We, we got, you know, brunch, lunch, got back on the road, drove another three, four hours, and we technically could have made it to our destination. But it the, suggested that we stop, which was actually great because I had to go to the bathroom. I did too. I also had to pee and we wanted to pick up some stuff. So we found an Electrify America station uh, at a Walmart. 
So oh God. <laughs> there's so many bugs everywhere. <laughs> I mean, we're literally getting attacked. So we pulled over. We charged for, I think, 20 to 30 minutes. And it gave us also, can check the records, but at least 80 to 100 more miles. So that put us here at ease. Like we were cruising. Not yeah. a problem. And I mean, you we could have made it, but you never know what's going to happen if you get, you know, it's better to be fully charged if you can. And if you have the time and you're able to. Uh, but it's great because of the Rush Creek Lodge, they also have a fast charger. So we charged up. We topped off last night just in case we needed to to go further today. But we kind of just drove through the park. And it hasn't been any trouble at all. And, and inside the park, they have Rivian branded chargers as well, which anyone can use them. But they're still Rivian branded. It's cool. true. So, they're yeah, they have their waypoints, which they're going to be working on their infrastructure, you know, throughout the, the world. But it was so cool. They had two of them right by the Yosemite um, Lodge. And... Teslas took them over. Tes- uh, all the Teslas were there. Yeah. I mean, I'm a Tesla owner, which I'm a, I'm a new Tesla owner. But, you know, I think the thing that puts a lot of Tesla people at ease is the fact that the Tesla infrastructure, they've been around longer. So, obviously, that is way more expanded. And for anybody that's looking to get an EV, though, I, honestly, it is absolutely incredible. Like, I've never been more excited to test electric vehicles because there's just something about them. Like, it's the speed, great. just, uh, they're just incredible. And it's like... I've mean, seen so much technology over the years that getting into, I think my first one that I really drove was the Jaguar I-Pace yeah. when we did that. And mm-hmm. I was just like, this is the future and I freaking love it. Yeah, it was pretty great. And also one more thing about the Rivian charger, it, it's it's actually free to charge as of now. As of now, it's free to charge. So all those cars were charging for free in the park. It wasn't a fast charger. I think it was, not actually sure what it was. I took a video of it, but it definitely was a slower charge. But I mean, if you're going to like park, go for a little hike, go see that waterfall, get some lunch, get some dinner, get brunch, whatever... It was perfect. And it was free. And it's weird because it becomes sort of just like you don't even think about it after you have an electric vehicle for so long. It's just kind of something that you do. And I don't know. I mean, I never want to go back. <laughs> so it's making me a little sad because I just recently my Land Rover or my Range Rover Velar lease was up. And I was like, well, I'm going to buy it out because, of, you know, the car the car um, market market yes it's like if I would have given them back my car they would have turned around and sold it for twenty thousand dollars so I was like well if I just buy it I can eventually turn it around and sell it for twenty thousand dollars and I'm still waiting for my Rivian pre-order so I don't know it's probably going to be like a year yeah and it makes me really sad because I've already grown so fond of this one when they dropped this off and I opened the door I immediately had regret of not doing the pre-order. Oh, yeah. You didn't get the pre-order pricing. Oh, my God. I opened that door. I was like, I messed up. I mean, the truck was cool, but at the time, I wasn't, I I didn't, I wasn't really looking to get a truck, but now the SUV. I'm going to tell you what. I'm enjoying it. It's okay. I will share, I can share mine. Like, this thing is, okay, so it's a little, it is bigger than my SUV. I think it's like, oh, God, I don't remember the specs, but it's at least, I want to say 12 inches no, nah, maybe not 12 inches longer, but it's definitely longer. It's wider and it's taller, but it's, oh my God, bug is coming for me. Um, but it was great because it was me, Justine, my parents, um, and we have so much luggage, even like clothes, gear. Oh, yeah. like we pack so much and we had this car not completely packed, but like it was full, but we were like not being cautious of what we were packing. We were just throwing everything in here and we had plenty of space. I'm so upset because I could have packed more. And I didn't. But yeah, this is what? Seven passenger. Mm -hmm. Uh, The back two seats fold down. The center is a whole center seat. And then, of course, the two in the front. But everything is just like, it's just so like well thought out. And it is. It like it's made for adventure. But also our sister, this who has a child, like this is the vehicle that she's been wanting as well. She is. I mean, it's just so great because it's so it's big and it's sturdy and it's electric. And I believe the range on this is a little over 300. I have the facts here. I have the fact sheet. Spec it up. OK, here we go. We're going to talk about some specs. <clears throat> These bugs. I'm I'm going to lose my mind. There's so many bugs. This, is, this okay. is nature. We're adventuring. Yeah, this is what this car was made for. Oh, my God. And all the accessories like I'm going to have to. That wasn't what I wanted. Nope. No. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there it is. It's nature. I mean, I see the nature. It's, it's biting me through my pants. Okay, okay read us some specs. What this we got? Is, okay, so this is the R1S. This is the launch edition. This is the quad motor all-wheel drive. Okay, so the exterior max height 77.3. The length 200.8 inches. Wheelbase 121.1. Um, the width 81.8 um, inches. And the side mirrors are folded. Seven-seat capacity. 
front trunk volume, 11.1 cubic feet. I love the front trunk. It's massive. Big. Like Justine two- got in it. You, oh, it has an emergency release. So there is emergency release. So if you get put in the trunk, you can get out of the trunk. <laughs> uh, total enclosed storage, uh, 105 cubic feet. Rear uh, storage bin, 5.1 cubic feet. Pretty great. Okay, performance. Zero to 63 seconds. Fast. I did it. I went, ee! It was great. And it felt so fast that I got scared. Oh, the range is actually 316 miles. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty good, especially because this is a very large vehicle. It's really, yeah. And it's, that's it's pretty, pretty decent range. Yeah, it's actually pretty great. Like a lot of the Teslas, they, uh, like some of the lower models, you only get like 215 or something. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. This has 835 horsepower, which I know our dad was very impressed with. He was like, what? <laughs> so dad was impressed with that. I'm impressed by that. The towing capacity, 7,700 pounds. So it can tow you and I. Um, the drive modes, all-purpose, sport, uh, conserve, towing, off-road, dr- you know, crawl, drift, oh. rally. We can crawl up some rocks. That's it a big, also that's has an air call. compressor in the back. Yeah, it's really cool. So it has an awesome. air compressor right back here, which is great because in my car now, I have like a little one that I, my dad actually got me from Amazon. Um, okay, let's see what else we got. So this is, like I said, the launch edition, quad motor, large battery pack, L cap granite, 22 sport bright uh, rims, which the I wheels are nice. The wheels are so nice. Oh my gosh. And all, the thing about the Rivian is they have the little yellow accents all over. That's like, that's their look and I'm here for it. Um, so with the large battery pack, I already said 316 miles. Um, the interior is the Black Mountain. There's also an ocean, I don't know if it's Ocean Coast. And then there's also a green, which I also forget what it's called. Uh, we're yeah. doing a great job, but we're just, uh, this is like, this is, this it, is, it looks great. It looks cool. It looks okay, so good. We're not like car people. We're just people in we're, car. We're, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, mean, we are, you get what I'm saying. And here's the thing. I would look it up for you, if we don't but have we don't service. have any services. <laughs> so, I'm, so you're, I'm reading a blurry document that I have to, it's not actually blurry. My eyes are blurry, but um, you can get online and you can customize and there's all types of really cool accessories. And what makes these really cool and also why I was like oh maybe I'll get the truck because in the truck in the back storage they have an accessory where you can basically put a full kitchen not a full kitchen but like you can pull out an accessory with like all types of kitchen stuff if you are hardcore camping and they have the like rails that are easily you know snapped into the top which you can put a bike rack and you can put the tent. tent we could have a tent we could be camping out right now I'm just like thinking about that. I mean, we're technically camping out right now, but we're there's in a so villa. many small little details. Like this little uh, back. So we're sitting in, if you're listening, we're sitting in the back of yes. the trunk and it has like a little, like. Um, so when you lift it for the storage. Yeah. Um, you can adjust it so that it can kind of lie flat, which was great for us putting luggage in because if you didn't lift it up, there was like a little hump because we have the back seats folded down. So there's, this is a seven passenger seat. So behind us, we have it down because there's only four of us um but yeah so you can like move this so that you can lie down and you can look through like the panoramic roof for stargazing love that i'm honestly just mostly impressed with how much space that we were able to cram luggage in here because there is this bottom part that you can store Mm -hmm. in the trunk and with the frunk and this was our snack section yeah with the snacks because they didn't get smashed i put my yoga mat as well in there have you used it yet no i didn't I i bring this freaking yoga mat everywhere with all intentions of doing yoga and I just look at it. You buy a new yoga mat every and then you have then you never use it. But that's fine. It's fine. So the intention is there. So some of my favorite features. I've Oh my gosh. There are bugs everywhere. Bu- like I'm getting I'm so sorry if you're listening or watching. Oh I'm just sorry. Um <laughs> <laughs> so I've driven actually I can see. Okay, actually back to the features. There's a Rivian app of which I have connected I connected my phone to it so I can use my phone for this car, even though it's not my car. So in my account, it says that I have um, your pre-order. It says, hey, you have an R1S. And then it says active pre-order. And I'm like, why are you teasing me? But through the app, it's cool. You can use this as your key. So once it's connected, you can also see um, the mileage. Right now, we're at 76%. The cabin is is 19 degrees Celsius. It says it's comfortable. We're also powering this using the power from the car like yeah. we're plugged in we are plugged and we're in. using the battery um so i could actually run the climate um but it's really cool there's all types of different things if i lose my car i can gps to it all types of really cool features and this car like this is still even the truck was just kind of recently launched so right. like this is still a pre-production model and i haven't really had any issues 
No, and honestly, in the build quality as well. Like, oh yeah. I mean, I'm a Tesla fan, but like my car, which I spend a lot of money on, mm-hmm. has a lot of manufacturer defaults, and it's upsetting. Oh, last night we were getting our luggage out, and these lights in the trunk. So, like when you lift the the back, there's four little lights which actually light up the back very well. Yeah, it looks so great. Oh, there's a flashlight in the door. Just there is a flashlight in the door. Oh my god! And there's like a little speaker. The speaker that you can like pull. Oh god, the bugs. That's a big one. Um, is so there's this, yeah, so underneath like the front, sorry, I cut you off. No, go for it. So it's like in the front passenger, there's the driver's side, the passenger side, there's, you know, the center console. If you reach down below, under the center console is a charge, it's like, it stays charged, but it is like an outdoor speaker and it has a little light on it for like a little ambient mo- mood <laughs> light. It's been a long day. I um, love so cool. the heated seats and mm-hmm. the air conditioned seats in the front and even like the storage in the front. Like there's yeah. a lot of places to put things. And whenever we're doing road trips and we're filming a lot, like there's perfect spots to put our cameras. It's you true. You don't slide around. It is. That's actually a huge thing that the camera, um, I mean, I, it's also a wireless charger. So it's like you it can is. put your phone down so the phone doesn't slide, but we're using it as our cameras. Lots of USB-C ports, which is really great. The screen I, is fun. I like the gear guard. So there's like, oh. they call it kind of like sentry mode in the Teslas, but like this, it's, they got this cute little guy, like he's the gear guard. I think he's, is he a little Sasquatch Yeti I, something? I think so. I don't know, but he's really cute. We'll have to show you a picture of him, but they do have an alarm system and then they have uh, obviously cameras and sensors around. So it'll capture that footage if something happens. The gear guard. You um, can, it's a feature you can turn on and off. Kind of like Tesla Sentry Mode, it will record if there's any motion. You can set an alarm off if, if probably someone tried to in, enter another car. But it's so funny because we just have video clips of like everyone like coming around the car, like looking at it because it's taking not pictures out yet. So no, and especially being up here where there's a lot of adventurous people. Oh yeah. Oh, we've been we've like I I mean every single person just like stops and wants to talk about it, and then. We're done for like 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, wait, we got to go film or do something. We, were we basically for- are just like Rivian ambassadors. We're like, oh, yes, come take a look at it. It's wonderful. It's actually true. We should have put like some type of like sticker, like tweet us if you see or something. I don't know. Like everyone was wanting to chat about it, but I don't blame them because if, when every time I see a truck out in public, I'm like, I know. But I, I don't. Because I, I, like, it was wild when I first started seeing them kind of driving around Los Angeles. I, I was like, oh, there it is. I know. I first saw one driving to San Diego. Mm. It was the truck. I haven't seen a blue out in the wild yet. No blue. Only I've seen a lot of the green. Have you been to the Venice Hub? I have not yet. Oh, you been have been. Twice. Three times. Whoa. Yeah. I am, I am a fan. So that's why when they reached out and they're like, hey, do you want to borrow? Like this also was not sponsored. This trip isn't sponsored. They were just very generous enough to like loan us this car um, and hook us up with this cool villa that we're staying in in Yosemite. And it's just like, this is like a dream. Like I've always just wanted to travel and just make content in cool car with cool tech. And it was funny because Justine and I came here five years ago and I was making, I made a joke last night. I was like, oh my God, this feels like the old days. Like we were just, we just pack up and we hit the road and we're, bu- you know, bunking up in, in one room. Well, two rooms. I was like, but now we have a lot more vitamins and medication and you're on blood thinners. Yeah. I'm like, is this what it's like at retirement on the road? <laughs> yeah. Content creators just <laughs> rapidly aging with our blood thinners and supplements. <laughs> I mean, I'm in the car. I'm the worst road trip partner ever. Mm-hmm. And I just start passing out immediately. There's just something so like, oh, it's so soothing. Passed out. Sleeping immediately. We knew, we were we were literally 0.8 miles from the park entrance and she was already asleep. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> And like my my parents were like, oh, we're so glad we were able to came. Like, God, thanks for having us. I was like, honestly, thank you because she just sleeps the whole time. <laughs> like it's like I don't want to because I mean I've definitely have seen people who have diagnosed narcolepsy, but like I have like this, it's uncontrollable sometimes. Like mm-hmm. I will just be like, I I just pass. I'm like, out. hello, is anybody gonna talk to me? Oh, um, uh, I was well, on a conference call the other day too, and I just started like seeping. Like, hey, are you still there? It was like a pres- It wasn't like. I didn't have to be present, but I was still present, just sleeping, <laughs> just passed Jeez. out. I mean, I've uh, definitely done that before, but but yeah, yeah, back to the car. Okay. Also, another thing that I like is this trunk area. So this has two separate little. Oh yeah. Like it's separated. So the thing that we're sitting on that folds up, and this folds down. So you can fold this top part up, and even if you like, like stuff's not going to slide around because so it may similar shift. to like how jeeps are, but it's not as high as like yeah. the jeep. Um, yeah, it's nice because. <laughs> We accidentally forgot to close the top and we are cruising through the Yosemite tunnel and I hear a I'm like, that sounds like the air is coming through. And I'm like, oh my God, we didn't close the top. But thankfully this bottom thing was 
latch so none of our stuff you know slid out so it was my fault because yeah. i thought i had closed it <laughs> but i didn't and it's also my fault i could have looked i saw the notification but it was while i was cruising <laughs> up the mountain so oh, yeah man, um, it's great so i drove this i've basically been the only, only one to drive it <laughs> you drove i, I drove it around bit. like my neighborhood Sorry. and then um jenna was like mm, actually that's what i, I wanted this. to look at i wanted to see how many miles we've gone because I have I have that you know, I have access to this information, Justine, and I also like that it's like one button press to like put these back seats down. I love the interface as well. Like yeah, it is really really great. Like the the screen interface, and I like that like the directions and stuff. There's like two displays. There's one behind like the steering wheel mm-hmm. that you have access to, so you'll still be able to see the map, and I can still be like you know doing things. Yeah, you're Spotify. always you're clicking around, and I'm like, wait, I can't see the map, and I was like, oh, I actually still can because it's on my dash. Um, it has bird's eye view. Oh yeah, which and, and a front camera. Oh which, yeah, it makes sense. Drives me absolutely just out of my freaking mind that Tesla doesn't do that. Like a bird's eye view and being able to see in front of you is so important. Yeah, and if anybody wants to come at me and say that I don't need it, you're like, why would I not want it? When Look, you spend like one hundred and sixty thousand dollars on a car and it doesn't have a front camera, like AI. I'm is, sorry, AI is great, but like, is AI better than? actually seeing what is in front of you because the ai did not tell me that there was this curb that was slightly elevated because of like the way that we were parked Mm -hmm. and i hit it and if i was in my old car when i'm pulling close to things i always like hit the camera so that i can see in the front just to double check and make sure so that's another thing of why i will always probably have an suv just because i can you know like not wor- I mean, not worry as much about hitting something, but yeah, your Tesla is really low, and that probably is like five thousand dollars damage. Oh yeah. Oh, another thing about um, the Rivian is it's really cool because you can raise the suspension. It actually drops pretty low. It does. It's wild. So when we were loading in luggage, I dropped it all the way down, obviously to you know not as high of a lift. Um, it can also raise pretty high. It can lower. It's it's got all types of really great features, and it's fun. Yeah. Like we were going up. We're like. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I love my Tesla, but this is a whole different vehicle. Like, this, this is a is, real Jenna vehicle. Oh, but no, I mean, honestly, when I opened that door, I was just like, this is perfect. Yeah. Because I love having, I, I still have my Mercedes SUV. Like, I didn't want to get rid of that just because we do a lot of adventures where I need to have that type of car. And this is so perfect. It is. Like, I absolutely love no, it. I'm I'm obsessed with it. I, I'm, I'm just, just glad you're think, getting one. Yeah, me too. Like, what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to do everything. It's so great. And um, what else was I going to say? What color did you get? So, I got the blue. Oh, the Rivian nice. blue. But I can still change because my order hasn't been confirmed. Like, once it's going into production, is like, then I can decide. But I did the Rivian blue. I originally had the ocean interior. It was the lighter interior. But after seeing the um, black, I switched to the black interior. I, I actually really like this. Um, a lot. I, and then I got, I think, the 22. I think I got these wheels. Whatever, like, the best wheels were. They partnered with Pirelli on the yeah. wheels. Mm-hmm. Well, I got the best wheels. I haven't added any accessories yet. I got the best battery, whatever that was. I honestly just, I was like, like, whatever the best was. I I feel like you should get the tent. Yeah. Because I feel like that's going to be a good video. Even if you maybe use it, I don't know, (laughs) once or twice. The fact that you can do that would be such a cool video of like. It would be, I mean, it would also just be cool to use. Yeah. I mean, I, I am not a big camper, but we could like camp. In, in my backyard. What's crazy too is like, we can, like, we could, like, there is so much space in here. You could fit a mattress. 100%. You put those down. You can, like, you could sleep in the car. Someone can sleep, like, in the tent. Like, there is so much space. And I don't know. Well, because even Tyler was talking about before, because he wanted to get something bigger that he could, like, put, like, a mattress in. And even when he was, like, traveling. Yeah. Like, this, there's so much space in here. It's so honestly much wild. I mean, you, there's even the front trunk has a little uh, drainage hole so mm-hmm. that you can put ice or something in there and use it as a cooler. Yeah, and then in the truck, it's in the back. It's the same thing. You can use it as like a cooler and like the spare tire thing, which is, oh. it's great. Like this is an adventure vehicle and I'm upset that is? I didn't have it sooner because now I'm getting old and the adventures <laughs> make me so <laughs> tired. But like it is an adventure vehicle, but also like this is could be a good daily driver too for people like with families because I feel like the way that it's configured even those back two seats there's a lot of room back there so I've driven the Chevy Tahoe a lot which I still love the Chevy Tahoe yeah and it kind of gives me like similar like vibes to that like you know like having that extra trunk space like having you know more seats but it's just like I don't it's just it's electric so it's like a perfect blend of 
Oh my God. The bugs are bugs very are bad. <laughs> it's like a perfect blend. Oh, the poor guy was trying to relax and he's just hearing us scream. Um, it's just like a perfect blend of like all of my favorite vehicles. And it's new. Like this obviously is still like this is their first vehicle. So like, well, other than the truck. Like what else are they going to have? Well, like, what is the R2 going to be like? But this is the exciting thing is because of these types of vehicles, you're getting over the air updates. There yeah. was something that they said that they made a change to. And they're like, oh yeah, well we fixed that. Just, you know, we just. Did an update. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, that goes with a lot of electric vehicles, but I feel like, like Rivian's here and they have made a really, I think, great first kind of launch into this space because both the truck yep. and the SUV are really hitting, I think, some target markets. Me. Like, I mean, I freaking want one now too. It's really great. I mean, the first time I saw one at CES, what, three or four years ago? It was a long time ago. Yeah, because we were doing that Alexa integration because there is, oh my God, these bugs are so the bugs terrible. Are, honestly, um, Alexa, get rid of the bugs, please. Wait, there's, yeah, there's Alexa. You can tell mm -hmm. Alexa to shut the, I don't, no, don't, don't say it, don't say it. Just kidding, just kidding. Don't listen to me. I, we're not, a, we don't have our Amazon logged in. Um, okay, well, that's good. <laughs> so you can do, yeah, you can have her do like all the commands, open the open the trunk, shut the trunk, shut the frunk, you know, all the fun opening, closing, and more commands and probably ordering. Can you order stuff? I don't know. I mean, shopping. I do a little shopping. We had a Spotify sound. integration too. Oh, the speakers are incredible. You can also adjust, I mean, like most vehicles, uh, you know, like the, the directions of like where the speakers are. It also has 3D audio as well. Oh, Which really? is cool. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. I like that. I was using the cruise control a lot. It was actually quite nice. And how was that? Because it's it's like you're, it'll kind of cruise to the, the car in front of you and then you can adjust the speed on the yeah. wheel. I was adjusting, yeah, adjusting the speed on the wheel, adjusting the um, space between the cars. Um, it's like pretty, pretty normal. Yeah. Um, but it was, it was doing a very good job. And I job. think it said on the highway, it'll do lane. It'll say in the lanes. I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, I didn't go out of the lanes. Yeah. But I'm saying, I think that it will keep you in the lane. Possibly. I don't, I, that I don't know. You were driving. I, as, as you know, I've been watching a lot of the trial. I would just like to say, I cannot recall. <laughs> I cannot recall. <laughs> uh, I, I cannot, cannot recall. recall. I can uh, recall. To my best uh, memory, hearsay. to my best memory, I was staying in the lanes. It's hearsay. It's, it is hearsay. Yeah. yeah. Um, another thing, what was I going to say? Um, hearsay. <laughs> is hero? Uh, I don't know. I am getting. Attacked. I'm getting cold. Okay. And so here's the thing. By bugs. The s'mores. Oh my god! It's already seven forty. Oh my god! We gotta get the s'mores. So, so this, the one of the highlights at the Rush Creek Lodge. S'mores every night, seven to nine, by the fire pit, free. I love that. Free. I also have to go to the bathroom. So I think this is a probably the world a, is your a pretty there was good end. Oh my god, a bug, a bug, I oh wanted to say. Oh, he's on me. He's on me. What are these? Dude, I don't know. Oh god, it's so disgusting. Get away. Oh my god, I can't get him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> It's like a flying worm. Okay. It's like a flying worm. I think this is a good ending point. I don't um, think it's a flying worm. Dude, the flying worm. <laughs> no, it has just big wings. Okay. He, he's a worm body. Thank you guys so much for watching. We didn't get to read our reviews or listen to messages We're because- surviving. Uh, we don't have any service here. Thank you for watching and a huge thank you to Rivian for honestly giving us this opportunity because this is so much fun. And I honestly, me personally was desperate to get out and kind of just get outside because of all of my inside and just recovering from all of my health issues. Uh, so this was really great. It was like honestly perfect. Well, and also, um, we would have probably had to have rented another car if our parents came because we wouldn't have been able to fit all the stuff in our SUVs or your Tesla. No way. So this was absolutely perfect and like my dad and my dad was so excited he was like i saw him one day like looking up all the stuff on the rivian um but no like he was excited and this fit perfect for all of us and our gear and our parents and they've never been to yosemite and it's just been an all-around great time we're having so a fun. very good time minus the bugs the bugs then they only come out at like right like they're starting to go away now they're like trying to get my blood they come out for sunset and then they peace out okay s'mores time S'mores time. Thank you guys so much for watching or listening. You can follow us um, on our, our, our social medias. I, Justine, Jenny, Zarek. Also, same brain for the podcast on all platforms. And we will see you guys again whenever we see you because you never know what you're going to get here. It's true. And if you want to find out more about Rivian, you can check out their website as well. And You can find yeah. them at Rivian. At, yeah. And you can uh, configure yourself a vehicle. Yeah. tell And go tell them that you enjoyed our podcast. Yeah. I mean, this wasn't like our best work, but um, you know, it is what it is. What it is. We're just surviving and thriving <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. Look at this outlet. All okay, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go put this on the charger. All right, guys. Okay. Thanks okay. so much for watching. Bye. Peace. Bye.